Hello everybody, I hope everything is going well. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Melissa Samways and I'm a makeup artist. So for today's video, I have for you this dramatic makeup look. I have both eyes, both lips, both skin, but with a soft and natural effect. I really love it and I hope that you like it much as I do. So thank you so much for watching and let's begin this tutorial. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and like this video if you did. So now let's get started. To begin this makeup look, I'm gonna apply a eyeshadow base first. Today I'm gonna use my regular Soft Joker Paint Pot by MAC. I say regular because I always use this one. You can use any eyeshadow base that you like. So I'm gonna apply just a little bit with the tip of my fingers all over the lid. And this will just help the shadows to stick in the place and last longer. Also, will make them a little more vibrant in the eyelid. That's why I love this eyeshadow base so much. Because it really sticks the shadows. Using a blending brush, I'm gonna apply the shade Caramel by Motivus Cosmetics. Or Motivus Cosmetics. I don't know how you understand it, but for me, it is Motivus, how we say here in Brazil. Uh, but... You understand what I mean. <laughs> this is by Motivus Cosmetics, the shade Caramel. And this will be my transition shade. So I'm gonna apply all over my crease in circular motions. I'm gonna start off applying this eyeshadow right in the outer corner of my eyes. But here, above my crease a little bit. And now I'm gonna just work the shade all over my crease area in circular motions. I'm gonna just bring a little bit what is left in the brush to my inner corner. I'm gonna bring this color out a little bit So now I'm gonna go for a black eyeshadow and this is Blackout also by Modifus Cosmetics I'm gonna apply this shade using a firm angled brush and I'm gonna try to do like a eyeliner in the outer corner of my eyes but this is just to create more dimension in my makeup look so I'm gonna apply right here like this and I'm gonna pull this eyeshadow up a little bit like so and now I'm gonna just apply more eyeshadow here in the other corner of my eyes I'm gonna also use the same eyeshadow in the lower lash line as this is a very pigmented eyeshadow I'm gonna go adding the product a little at a time so I have the amounts that I want of black eyeshadow in the other corners. As you can see, I applied a lot here in the lower lash line as well. So now I'm gonna use this little brush to apply a brown eyeshadow and smudge the edges of the black. And this is Biter Chocolate, also by Motivus Cosmetics. So I'm gonna apply this shade to smudge the black eyeshadow in the outer corner of my eyes and also in the lower lash line. And now I'm gonna back with the first brush that I applied my transition shade and I'm gonna soften the edges a little more. Now in my eyelid, I'm gonna apply the shade Dancing by MAC Cosmetics. And to apply this shade, today I'm gonna use the Medium Angled Brush by Sigma. I'm gonna focus this color more in the outer corner of my eyes. And I also have to leave space to apply the next two eyeshadows in the eyelid. Next, in the eyelid, I'm gonna apply the color Platina, this amazing cool brown, but has a satin effect in this shade and I really love it, so I'm gonna apply right beside of the previous eyeshadow. In the tear duct of my eyes, to highlight a little bit, I'm gonna use the shade Sweet by Anastasia Beverly Hills with a very small brush. I love this shade, it's very pigmented and it's kinda more neutral gold eyeshadow, it's so beautiful. I decided to use this shade because it's kind of the same to the other shades with the setting finish which is amazing, it's not shimmery, it's not glittery, but also it's not matte. I really love this effect in my eyeshadows, so now to highlight the problem with the same brush, I'm gonna use the shade Nylon by MAC. Now to line my eyes, I'm gonna use the brush A06 by Sigma, this is one of my favorite brushes to line my eyes. Basically, all the brushes that I'm using by Sigma Beauty are in my favorite brush set with them. This brush set is amazing to create a lot of precision makeup looks, so I really hope that you like it much as I do. And most of the brushes that I use for my regular makeup looks are in this set. I'm gonna put the link down below for you guys in case you're interested, and now let's follow up with this makeup look. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a very small line in the roots of my lashes 
just to create this effect to be something extra to layer my glitter right on top Okay guys, I'm back. It's raining outside, so if you hear some noise, you know what it is. <laughs> it's raining outside, <laughs> as I said before. So I just applied glitter here in my eyeliner and also in the outer corner of my eyes to give this pop of glam in my makeup look. I also applied the Fake Lashes Jade by Huda Beauty, this one. I love this style so much. It's not so heavy, but it's very fluffy and spiky as I like. So to do my skin, I'm gonna pull my hair back and I bring it back. So as we have this kind of situation outside of my home, I'm gonna do this step of the video uh, in silence. <laughs> so for today's makeup look, I'm gonna use the Hello Happy by Benefit and this is amazing. I love this foundation. Today I'm gonna mix the color 1 and 4 together to get the perfect shade for my skin tone. It's amazing, I really like it. It has a very natural and soft effect and also, as the name says, it's soft blur. So I really love it. It's also very moisturizing so it gives me this natural glow and that's what I'm gonna go for today's look I did a quick reveal about these foundations in my Portuguese channel for Brazil and I really like them. Oh my god, it has a flawless finish but like I'm not wearing foundation and as you can see it gives me a beautiful glow, like a natural healthy glow. I really love this foundation and it's not covering so much my pimples and those little things but it's amazing. As the name says, it's a soft blur foundation. I really like the coverage. It's so beautiful in the skin. It looks like your own skin. So cute. I love this foundation to use every day, for example. It's so beautiful. And to finish off this look, I'm gonna use one of my favorite powders. This is by Air Spoon. I love the texture of this powder so much. It's affordable and I really recommend to you guys. So, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna apply a little bit of this product in my face. I don't wanna apply too much. Uh, I'm not with my brush here, so I'm gonna use this <laughs> little puff. Are you seeing this cloud of powder? <laughs> this is so funny. <coughs> oh! <laughs> Breathing my powder today. I love this powder. It smells so good. <coughs> oh my god. So I'm gonna just use the same blender as before to set this powder all over my face because I didn't press too much alright, so now I'm gonna just oh, oh my god <laughs> I forgot it so now I'm gonna apply my bronzer I'm trying to find my bronzer and now I'm gonna use my blush bar palette by Benefit Cosmetics as well so here I'm gonna use the ooh, I'm gonna use the Hula bronzer from this palette and also this pink blush right here. This is the Dandelion blush. And to apply... Oh no! 
here was my brush. So now I'm gonna apply a little bit of the bronzer. Everywhere I want to contour in my face. I wanna apply just a little bit of bronzer today because I wanna keep it natural as possible. And to finish off this makeup look, I'm gonna apply the lipstick by Melch Cosmetics and this is the shade Mary Jane. It's a very deep plum color but has a lot of shimmer in this lipstick. It's so beautiful. So I'm gonna apply this lipstick today. I think it will be so cool with my makeup look. Oh my god, look at this color. This is stunning. I love it and I love it. The texture of this lipstick as well is so beautiful and feels very comfortable in the lips, has a little bit of shimmer in the formula, the color is amazing, I really love it and is very wearable, it matches with many skin shades. And that's it for this look, my lovies, I really hope that you like it much as I do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later in the next tutorials. Bye!